I'm Steven. I'm Hannah. And we've been married for 10 years this October, 2015. We'll have been married. We met in youth group. I was 16. Steven was 18. Mm -hmm. Got married. I was 18. He was 20. Um, so we were just babies. And it was pretty rough money-wise and just trying to get used to being married. And I think the hardest thing going through marriage was the lies that Satan starts to weave in your mind. And I was um, not supporting my family. I was going to work for my family, but I wasn't supporting my family. And I was just living for myself. I was, I had a family and they were pretty much my roommates. I had no clue and as much as she would try to tell me or cry to me, like I wasn't, I would hear it but I wasn't listening. He had expectations that I wasn't meeting and I had expectations that he wasn't meeting. So when we moved into the apartment with the family upstairs, um, Steve was gone a lot. He was gone working. When he was home, he was checked out. And this guy from upstairs just wanted to be there. I started believing lies that maybe I shouldn't have gotten married that early. Maybe Stephen was the wrong guy. Maybe this is never going to work out. So I began to look elsewhere for things that I felt like I wasn't getting from Steven. Um, and I had an emotional affair. Um, I was completely in love with this other man while I was married to Steven. It felt betrayal, but I forgave it quickly. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Um, you know, it's like, it's okay. We can work through this. Um, as long as it doesn't happen again. But my habits, my trends weren't changing. Um, and I didn't realize that that's what was causing was causing that emotional affair. Uh, I didn't think that anything else was wrong. Uh, I didn't realize that my not leading spiritually in my household and not leading my kids and not praying with my wife and not praying with my kids and praying for them and having quiet times and really connecting with God and working on that relationship and then being a good steward of our finances and making sure that we were taken care of and that nothing bad would happen to us. I didn't realize that all that was part of it too. And I think couples who are struggling in this, they'd like to, you know, the world, everybody around them tells them that if you're not happy, get rid of it. Um, and a lot of people think that marriage is supposed to make them happy. And marriage is not supposed to make you happy. Marriage is to me make you holy. I was looking for something to fill me. Something to bring me to life. You were standing right beside me Try to get you off my mind You kept pulling me to you Even though I'd run You were waiting for me to see you were myself I didn't need you and that you'd never come around I really thought that we were gonna be through you kept standing your ground you broke through the darkness and found your way you through.